Hi, this is Dario. Just wanted to show you the new K-Pack that I've designed to build aircraft avionics or cockpits in a way. Um, so these are some base that you can work from. I'm just going to choose this one. Uh, it was actually designed a little bit to look like the Spitfire um, front panel. So once you design, uh, insert it, you must just click Convert to Mesh and this will separate it. And then you can start to add other K-Packs to it. So I'm going to push through in the keypad to go to the front view. Now I'm going to insert a uh, gauge. And these are various gauges that you can pick from. I'm going to choose this one with a multi-screw. I'm just going to scroll this using the middle mouse button and then align it and click and you just drop it in. And you can see there's already screws and it looks looks pretty, pretty decent. If I just move down here, I'm going to put a few more in to give some more options to the pilot. So clicking, dropping it in. Now you can just shift D and Z to move it downwards. Go front view again, shift D, and uh, you can move it to kind of get that three gauge look that you want. And um, yeah, so far so good. Gonna add a little switch on the side here. So built a couple of switches that you can choose from. There's a whole range of knobs, uh, different types of switches. Um, I'm gonna choose this one, which is uh, like a super secret switch. There we go. Uh, there you go, looks pretty, pretty nice. At the top over here, I'm gonna do a little cut to give it a bit of detail. And if you see inside the mesh, there's an edge to show the middle. So I'm going to make the K-Pack align or snap to the edge. And um, I'm going to choose different cutters I've created. This one's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to select the object that you want. Click Insert. Until it snaps to the edge over here. So there's one right in the middle. While holding Alt, you can scroll this around. And it rotates. And it's going to go to the top to do a clean cut all the way through click to insert and you can see it's just not long enough so I just do scale on the X drag it longer and now it's, it's a perfectly clean cut um, so you're getting there what I want to also do is uh, add a deep cut in the center with three dials going across so if we go back to my gauges you'll see here I have one called deep gauge and if I click it select the object you want and insert now you can see it starts to snap to the center edge that uh, is inside this uh, uh, base. So I'm going to scroll a little bit bigger, click to insert. Um, and if you ever make a mistake, you can always just push G or S to rescale slightly. It's the same blender controls, but you can see it's a nice deep cut with some bevels. Now I push 3 to go back to front view. I want to have them on each side. So Shift D, Y, drag it across. There's one. And now you want to replicate on that side, there's a little handy trick. I'm using hard ups, but you can do this with other mod uh, normal modifiers in the stack. Um, select the base object, select the object you want to mirror it to, push Shift D, or sh sorry, Alt X, to get the modifier um, axes. And I want to replicate the right side on the left, so I choose the right side, and there you go. Now it's on the left too. So now our cockpit's really starting to take shape. Just go to the front view over here. Now I want to add some fuel gauges. So I go back to my gauges and I choose a simple panel. And now you need to say no snapping, insert, give it some time. There it is. Just scroll it down with the middle mouse wheel and I'm going to place them probably a little bit higher. There you go. There's one. So these are just rectangle, rectangular gauges. Shift D, Y, placement. There aren't any cutters on these ones, so they're quite easy to place. Uh, the mesh doesn't uh, change at all. I'm going to put a big dial on the side here. So I'll use one of these ones with the radial with the screws. Undo. Right click to cancel. Select the base object. Insert. Scroll. And you can see this nice big radial. Here we go. Put it over here like a bit bigger. There we go. Now I want to put two knobs on the side here. I actually want to double duplicate this one because it looks, looks pretty decent with a few of them. Yeah. Okay, select the base mesh, go into my switches now, and so I'm going to use one of these ones. So I'm just going to insert it here, like that, shift D, duplicate, get to, to give the pilot some additional controls. If you ever make a mistake, you can just select it, G, Y, and you can shift these things around to do a little of like cleanup. So our cup is really taking shape now. Now for the center panel. 3 to center the view. I want to put 
two, uh, two over here and two over here. But what, what I can do is I can use that uh, mirroring effect again. So I go back to the gauges. I choose the ones that I want. Let's put uh, these ones again. Actually, these ones. These ones are quite nice. Select the one. Let's place these here like that. Shift D Z over here. You can select both. You can move them around again if you want to. You can scale because. Uh, all the blender controls work. Now I want to replicate on the other side. So select the two objects that you want. Shift the one that you want to copy it for, uh, to. Alt Z. Choose the side. Bang. There you go. And what's quite nice here is because they're mirrored, you can G to move and they both copy the rotations or S to scale to choose however you want them. That's pretty good. Now I want to have a row in the middle. So select it. Three. And if you go into the base, you can see that there's, there's an uh, edge here. That you can snap to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these raised ones because these are quite nice too. Click it. Uh, now I see the snapping's off. So right click to cancel. Choose edge. Click to insert. Middle mouse to scroll. I'm going to put one at the top. Z, Alt Z to move a bit down. And it's looking really good. Okay, three to center. Now I'm going to turn snapping off. And I'm going to put these two switches. These ones are good again. So I put one here. Okay, looks good. Now I want to replicate it again. So this one, select it. Alt X, mirror. Now you've got the perfect alignment. So there's your cockpit. Let's put a couple of screws around the side to make sure that it's bolted to the cockpit. And if you go here, I've got some fasteners. So just select the fasteners. There's a range of different types. These are like Allen keys. You've got screws, um, bolts. I'm going to use this first one. Um, and click to insert, scroll down. And what's nice about this is you can give variety. If you hold Alt and use the scroll button, it uh, rotates it. Make it a little bit smaller. I place it there. Let's place another one over here. Select the mesh, click it. And Alt to give variety. There you go. And I'll put one over there. Alt to scroll. Now you've got the three, now you want to put it on that side. You just select the three. Base Mesh, Alt-X, New Modifier, there you go. You just got to check to make sure, like, see this is overlapping. So you can take these three, G, Y, move them across a little bit. Or if you even want to, G, Z, move it up. Uh, let's just keep it there. Looks okay. Yeah. And there's your cockpit. Now the really fun part comes when you want to insert the dial faces. So you select the Base Mesh that you want it in, Convert to Mesh. Now you can access individual parts. And if you go to the instrument panel, and I want to put um, I'll put this one, altitude. So click to insert. Now it's moving around, but what's, what is good is, you see there's a face right in the center here. So if you snap it to face and you say insert, now it's locked in and you use the scroll wheel and you can make the dial appear. These dials, I've created the needles for different types. This one has a three needle. So scroll and you can alt to rotate to give it a bit of variety. <clears throat> I'll go on this one over here. I'll do the compass. So convert to mesh, select the mesh uh, that you want. Let's do the uh, altitude, insert, scroll, alt, rotate. Let's make it go like this way. There you go. And the last one here, I'm going to do uh, the last gauge, so don't forget to say convert to mesh. Let's go to that big one, sorry. Select the big one, convert to mesh. There you go. Add the insert scroll. There you go, perfect. Now look at that, that's looking really good. Um, <clears throat> let's just put the accelerometer there and the RPM gauge. So it's already a mesh, but you can click convert. Um, a speed. Speed indicator, this is a nice one. Uh, all these dials uh, I've created in Mission 4 too. So if you want to render the emissive scene, you can also do that. This guy's going pretty fast. There we go. And then the last one here, convert to mesh. Let's do some RPM. There it is. Insert. There we go. And then we've seen a little needle there. And make it a bit smaller. And it's going bigger. Four and a half thousand RPM. And essentially that's the same process for these little ones here too. So 
Got a fuel gauge. This is set the fuel. Oh, gotta select the face though. Insert. There we go. Ah. You select the face. Convert to mesh. Ah, you know. So you insert. There we go. Alt to rotate. There you go. That's the fuel. Let's put some uh, uh, oil pressure in there. Like that one, convert to mesh. There we go. And alt to rotate. Convert to mesh. All temperature. Insert mesh. There we go. Alt to rotate. There you go. And there's a nice, beautiful looking cockpit. Uh, it's what took only a few minutes to do. Uh, you can just remove this to see how it looks. It's looking pretty sharp. There you go. There's a lot more you can do with the variety of the packs. I mean, if I take you through these, um, I've given you a couple of controls, and these are some keypads, these are some dials. You'll see also on uh, some of the gauges, there are already some needles on some of them, so you won't have to insert the needles. Uh, well, the workflow I showed you is the same across everything. Um, these are some base message meshes. This is basically a helicopter, this is like a Spitfire, this is a jet fighter, um, passenger plane, this is an old classic fighter, and this is a sci-fi um, aircraft. And if I go down, um, fasteners, so these are a combination of current as well as possibly even sci-fi that you can use these for. Um, uh, gauges, um, these two are cutters, these two, these ones are uh, placements on the surface. And, um, Let's go down, instrument panel. Again, instruments are there. Uh, panels, this is quite a nice one. Um, load. So these are when you want to insert panels. So you can do um, different types of aircraft too. Uh, this is a sci-fi hut, which has got a lot of detail inside it. And these are cutters to give panel lines uh, on your cockpits, which I'll show you in some other videos. Uh, and then switches. These are some of the common switches that are available. Um, cool, hope you enjoy it. Um, and uh, there's going to be a free pack and a paid pack. The paid pack always will have all these assets. The free ones will have a get you started. Um, and then if you like what you see, um, feel free to purchase the, the, the full size pack. Thanks a lot. Hope you have fun.